Hi guys, welcome back. It's King DX and today we'll be going over some drive club steering tips. Now I know you're probably wondering, what type of steering tips can I give? Well, if you're like me, you've probably been wondering how you can shave a few seconds off your lap times, or maybe even wondering why you're losing control in some of these straightaways. Uh, and the reason is actually pretty simple and you can relate it to real world driving. So what happens is a lot of times you're driving the car and even when you're making minor adjustments, you're pressing a little too hard on a left analog stick. And what that does is it's forcing you to turn the wheel much too hard for the situation, which is causing you to oversteer and essentially making you slip. And that's why you're, you're losing control. You'll notice that a lot of times on straightaways, you'll even start to hear your tires screech because your car is turning so heavily for the speed that you're moving that it's hard for your car to keep control. And anybody who's driven fast, um, you know, you probably understand that you don't want to make sudden movements unless you have top-notch stability control, um, which most of us don't. Um, you know, jerking your wheel immediately to the right and then left and then right and then left is going to cause you to lose control. It's just physics. Now, I do have a bit of a cold, but try to bear with me as we get through this. Now, what I want to do is show you four different videos. The first two videos is going to be what happens when you're oversteering. And we're going to do it in a, a pullback perspective so you can see what it looks like. You can hear what it looks like. I'm not going to say a lot of talking. And then we're going to do a in cockpit, in car perspective, in which you can see my hands on the steering wheel and you can see where these errors are coming from because you'll notice that every time you start to hear those tires you know burn and you hear them screeching on the, the asphalt is because you'll look at my driver's hands he's going to be moving it far just quickly and abruptly you're going to see me just jerking the wheel and i want you to pay attention to that because if you're making the same mistake i was making then that's probably why you're having these issues so I'm going to go ahead and be quiet so you can hear everything. And then once that's done, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when you're doing it correct, when you're slowly transitioning on the steering wheel and you're not forcing it, when you just slightly start to hold it over and you just gradually press on it to give yourself a little more turn. And it's just like, like I said, it's just like when you're driving a real car. Anyone who drives knows that you don't just jerk your wheel. You always gradually build into your turn. And that's what you're going to have to do in Drive Club. You have to get used to how the analog stick functions. If you're using the steering wheel, it's the same concept. You can't just be you know, overly aggressive on your turning because it is going to cause your car to fishtail, to spin out, and it is going to cost you a lot of time and a lot of races. So here I am. I'm shutting hell up. I'm going to let you guys watch uh, the first two clips let you hear it and then we're going to come back with the last two clips that will be uh of the actual driving being done correctly where i'm not um, forcing uh the steering at all i'm letting it come naturally i'm not trying to force it and, and be aggressive with it and you'll see a huge difference as far as my speed um and then we can go over maybe some tips as far as what you can do um if you do find yourself in those situations um when you're slipping out of control to gain control and uh you know get everything back uh on focus on course so here we go I'm hopeful that those clips did help somebody out. Um, now, one thing you can do if you do find yourself in those situations uh, where your car is starting to lose control, you're seemingly on a straightaway, and you hear that noise coming from your tires, what I would suggest doing is getting off the accelerator and then taking control of your car again. It's just like when you start to slide on ice, when you start to hydroplane, you shouldn't be on the gas, hitting the brake in most situations is not going to be the best thing you can do. There are circumstances in which hitting the brake 
is okay, um, but nine times out of ten, it's going to be a bad situation. Um, and then you want to try to gain control of your car again. Um, now here, um, you can see you're not going to hear that tire screeching. Um, it's a much smoother ride this time, and I'm able to maintain control and get out of my turns a lot quicker. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode. Stay tuned because what I'm going to start doing is a, a weekly episode called First to Drive. And the first episode will actually be airing uh, this Saturday. Uh, I'm not sure what time is going to go up yet. Maybe sometime in the evening, maybe early morning. Um, and the show is pretty much going to be recapping uh, just kind of what's going on with Drive Club as far as the current status. Um, you know, patch updates, um, notes from Evolution, Sony about the game and kind of where it stands right now because we all know that the product obviously shipped um, completely broken. Um, so that's going to be coming up this Saturday, and then every week I'm going to try to follow up uh, with another video, just kind of recapping uh, what's going on in the world of Drive Club. So I'm Keen DX signing off for first 3com and I'll see you guys later. Bye.